Hello everybody. Welcome back. I've got another eight and a half by eleven layout. I embossed my background piece of white cardstock with my honeycomb embossing folder. And those straws, I took a picture of those <laughs> straws. There's there's a reason for it. I know this is a garden layout and all you see is a picture of straws, but I actually seen those guys at the dollar store and they're huge, like they're the really big big around and so when I garden which I don't do a lot of it I mean I don't have a big garden or anything but I'll get a few plants and you know get them planted and it's always really warm outside and I don't really like the heat but it's worth it for flowers so once I'm done that for some reason or other I always end up having mudslides I go in the house and get the blender out and ice cream and rum and all of this stuff and I'll have a mudslide and when I seen these straws I was like oh garden time's coming I need those great big straws so that my my big old milkshake doesn't get stuck in the silly straws that I always have so anyway that's the whole idea of this layout because it's spring and the snow's pretty well melted here but it, it's not really warm yet and I seen on um, on Flickr, yeah, uh, I think it was last year, I seen a really cool shot like this. And when I seen those straws, I thought of that shot that I had seen as well. And I thought, oh, wow, that was such a cool photo. I'm going to give that a go. And so I think it turned out pretty good. I really like it. So back to the, the layout here and what I'm doing. That garden word, I cut with my silhouette and there I'm just showing you the I got that off peachy cheap it's the highline um, well I want to say collection but it's not a collection that I got I got on peachy cheap that day there was the six by six the chipboard the brads and what do they call this snippets but what the snippets is is a, it's a little pad with uh, three by four and four by six cards and so the chipboard sold me on it and it went with these the colors in my photo like perfect perfect and that is a flower I cut out of felt with a couple of my dies and and then I cut the center out of them and stitched it to pull it in tight and then you get sort of a ruffle and then I used one of the brads in the middle of that flower And so I really like the way that looks and I, I um, of course I, I made it out of white because I can't get enough white. And that little, that little chipboard arrow that says my fave uh, was perfect for this layout because it is one of my, one of my favorites. And that little heart ticket there, I cut that with the die as well. And then... <clears throat> I showed you at the beginning of uh, of the layout those two tags. I I put vellum over the one of them. Oh, here we go. Okay, so I'll talk about this for a second. So I'm going to end up using these. That's fun foam, and so I ran out of the white adhesive backed fun foam. So what I did is I put um, some of that double sided tape on the back of it, and. And then I ran it through my, my cuddle bug. And so you can use them as homemade pop dots or you can use them as kind of homemade enamel dots. And that's a Kelly Perky die. I'll put, uh, I'll put the link, I'll try and remember to put the link in the description. And I, had, I got that one at Simon Says Stamp. And it, it's a really cool die because you end up with, I think it's four, four or five different sized circles. And... Um, so here, I, instead of using them as uh, pop dots like I usually do today, I'm using them as like enamel dots. And like I say, you get more than three sizes, so it's super fun. And they're they're matte, but I don't mind that. I don't I don't have to have everything shiny. And I mean, they're darn near free, right? Once you've paid for the dye, the fun foam is really cheap. So there you go. And 
I was saying the one tag, I put vellum over it so that I'd be able to journal on it and then you would see my journaling. And I'm just going to ruffle up the edges here and that's going to be about it for this one. Thank everybody for watching and thank you to all my new subscribers. Okay, we'll see you next time guys.